everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today, today is my contribution as part of the shelf stable recipe collab. Okay, this is coming to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in now so I can heat it up Dad. with my rice. Dad. 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 The camera's on, honey. And then I'm going to put in my rice as well. I, of course, rinsed my rice. And I need to get a spoonula here to stir this up. Where are my spoons? Okay. As soon as this comes back up to a boil, I'm going to turn my heat down to low and then I'm just going to let this simmer for 20 minutes until the rice is done. All right, this is now simmering, but I wanted to, before I forget, let you know that you could have put beans in here if you didn't have any other canned proteins. Beans would work great in here. Um, also, the rules of this um, pantry recipe collection for shelf stability is you can only use shelf stable ingredients, no fresh ingredients other than eggs, because a lot of you have chickens. So those are the rules for these recipes and that's why we used all shelf stable things. You can top this with fresh ingredients if you have them, your bowls, but you don't have to if you don't have it. It's good even without it. All right, our 20 minutes is up. Our monster mash is ready. Is that what it is, monster mash? Monster mash, yep. So monster mash is actually rice? Rice and a protein. And then I put top so you could do, flavor. You Chase could do does, and yep, Chase does beef and curry with his. Okay, here is our monster mash. You can top this with anything you have on hand. Um, we have some tortilla chips, so we'll probably crumble some tortilla chips over the top. And that's how we'll eat it. I do have powdered sour cream that I could refresh and turn into sour cream for this. So if you have that, you could do that too. Or whatever you like that you have on hand. And then I'm serving this with my home canned charro beans. Try to move you up a little bit. Right there, heating up. Those are my home canned charro beans. But if you don't have those, you can definitely serve it with a side of any beans you like that are commercially canned. I will link that in the description box below for you, my charro beans video. And then um, I will link my chicken canning video in the description box below and my salsa if you are interested. All right, Monster Mash and charro beans. I'm going to see if I can wrestle up a taste tester for you. Okay, got a taste tester for you. Let's check this out. All right, let's try it. Okay, there's my next taste tester. Mommy, look at that spider. Whoa. Mmm, good. Like the meat. You like the chicken? <laughs> I knew she'd like the chicken the best. Well, you like rice, too. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Okay, Chase is the one who gave me the recipe for the original Monster Mash. Oh, this is your version? Yep. Mexican yep. Try, so. That's my home canned chicken and my home canned beans in it. Yeah, that's a big fighter. There's probably no room in there for anything. Mm. Can you ever make room? The other one's got no room either. I just was out there looking. What do you think of this version? Oh, that one's lots of meat, lots of, lots of uh, beans. Yeah, I'm going to make a Mexican version of it. Yeah, I was telling them that you usually do beef and curry. 
Yeah. Curry. Which you got. I love that smell That's your really house when you're making your beef and curry. That's a good idea. What'd you do for the sauce there? The beans. My home canned salsa and my homemade taco seasoning. Uh. Okay, there you have it. An easy one pot shelf stable recipe. And you can use any protein that you like, any salsas that you like, or skip the salsa if you don't like that. You can use curry flavors instead of taco flavors. Whatever you like, switch it up how you like it and serve it with your favorite beans. What, honey? Gigi, not Are you hungry? You forgot her name. It's hot, but you can have I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes, including this one. I will put a recipe link in the description box below for you. This recipe will feed about six people. It makes a lot. So not only is it cheap, but it, it really makes a big batch. Be sure to go to all the channels in the description box. I'll put the playlist in the description box below for you as well. Make sure you watch all the videos in the collab. We do this the first Tuesday of every month to inspire you to create recipes using your shelf-stable ingredients, things that we're all stocking up and putting in our pantries. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.